Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about a giant indicator, a wonderful indicator in every sense of the word, its use may be a bit difficult for beginners, but we will try to touch on all its features, and ways of using it, because it is simply, an indicator of everything. First, let me thank the creator of this indicator for his wonderful effort, and let's take a peek at his profile as well. <laughs> Okay, let's open the indicators box. In the search field, type, boom. Then choose the first one, which was created by, verified. Okay, this is the indicator, that we are going to talk about, it may seem complicated, when you look at it for the first time, but we will simplify it as much as possible, so that you can understand it, and use it easily. Let's start by explaining the simple signs, like this green triangle over here. This green triangle is considered one of the rare signs in this indicator, it appears only in cases of purchasing power, and its signal is often very accurate. As for the red dot here, it is considered an exit or pause point, it means that selling pressure has risen, and it can be used to confirm the exit point. Let's look for some examples on the chart. Here, the red dot appears to show the oversold area, and indeed the trend has moved downwards. As for here, the green triangle has appeared to show us the entry point, and also, the trend has risen a little. Here, we find an orange dot, which can be used as an alert point, or a pause point. Here also a red dot appears, followed by the formation of a downtrend. And here, the green triangle appeared again, to give a signal that the trend will rise. Here, we notice an orange signal followed by a red one, which is a confirmation that the trend will be in a horizontal movement. Here too, the same thing happened. And here, is a green triangle and a noticeable rise in the trend. As you can see, there are many of them, and I think you are now able to put them to good use. The red point is for exit, the green triangle for entry, and the orange one is a warning of a change in the direction of the trend. Now let's talk about this yellow line, and this blue line. The yellow line represents the resistance line, and the blue line represents the support line, and we will use them to detect the breakout through some slopes that occur from time to time. As for these two lines here, they represent the trend movement, and it is called the center of gravity indicator. It is also a powerful addition to this indicator in order to determine entry and exit points with good accuracy. Let's go back to these slopes here. When the yellow line goes down, it means that there is an entry opportunity, but we must wait until the yellow line rises again, and then, our entry point will be at this intersection, here. Let's see this example more clearly. And this, will be the entry point. Now, let's see how it works with the short positions. Here, the opposite happened, the blue support line rose, and the crossover occurred from top to bottom. Here, we find another entry point, and the breakout was clear. But be careful, don't rely on the first line to find the intersection, always rely on the second line in both cases. Now let's talk about the pivot point, which is the little dots you see here, sometimes red and sometimes green. When these points appear in green, it means that there is buying pressure, and here we must prepare ourselves, and wait until the center of gravity line, crosses the lower red wave line, and to find out what the red wave is, it is a slow version of the main oscillator. Let's see this up close. Okay, this is the intersection we talked about. As you can see, after this crossover, the trend has risen as well, and this shows that it is also a good entry point. Here the opposite happens, red dots, followed by a crossover from top to bottom, yes, we can take short positions here.
Here is another entry point, green dots, followed by a crossover from the bottom to top. And here, red dots, followed by a downward intersection. And here, another entry point that I think you can now recognize. There are many of them, but what distinguishes this indicator is that all these signs may sometimes meet in one place. Such signals that are here, a crossover, and a breakout, the movement of the trend in the saturation area, and also, the appearance of the red dot, that indicates the oversold point. Here too, the appearance of the green triangle, and the occurrence of the intersection, yes, it is another strong signal. Even this simple intersection, between the blue and white line, is also another signal for entry and exit. I really can't find the appropriate expression for this indicator, except that it is very wonderful, and you should always keep it in your library. Well, we only have these signs left here, and they don't need much explanation. The red mark is a strong signal to sell, and the green mark is a strong signal to buy. The yellow and gray marks are weak signals that need more confirmation. Here, you can see the power of the red mark. As we said, the gray and yellow marks are considered weak signals. Finally, to learn more about this indicator, you can visit the creator's page, and you will find in it all the details and settings for most of the frames, from one minute to one day, and you will find illustrations and important definitions, and also the best indicators to use with this giant. Mm -hmm.